Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Demetra's Dishes. So today I'm bringing to you another low carb recipe. I'm going to teach you how to make zoodles two delicious ways. I've incorporated lots and lots of low carb recipes to my diet and keto and low carb recipes are the thing right now. Everyone's looking for them. I've gotten lots of requests for them and this is a delicious one that the whole family will love. I know schools are back in session in many places and this is a quick recipe that comes together in 10 minutes, maybe even less. I mean, something that you can pull together anytime you're short on time. And if you've never heard of zoodles, they're basically zucchini turned into a noodle. They're low carb, they're full of nutrition, they're refreshing and delicious. In some parts of the world, zucchini are known as courgettes. So you can call this courgette, like spaghetti. But um bum <laughs> We're gonna begin with making our Greek zoodle salad. Let's go over those ingredients first. I have some baby bell peppers. You can use a big bell pepper if you'd like. Some cherry tomatoes, a block of feta cheese, a little bit of garlic, lemon. We're gonna use a lemon juice, some kalamata olives, really good quality, extra virgin cold pressed olive oil, some dried oregano. We're gonna use a little bit of this red onion and some zucchini with salt and pepper. There are many ways to make zoodles. My favorite is using this spiralizer. I'll post a link in the description box down below for you to get one on Amazon if you don't already own one. There are many ways to do it. If you have something else, go ahead and use that. I'm gonna go ahead and use four zucchinis. I'm gonna cut the tips off and we're gonna turn them into zoodles. So you just cut the ends off of the zucchini. Make sure to use medium to small size zucchini and not the large ones because the large ones tend to have lots of seeds and then they don't really spiralize well. You go ahead and you put it into the machine. You stick it on there. You press the end on and then you turn. It's really that simple. And what I love about it is that the core is left and you could just discard that with the end. I'm going to continue to spiralize the rest of these zucchini. The noodles are spiralized. I'm just gonna set this aside. One more thing, this comes with a little compartment with drawers with other parts to um, slice vegetables in different ways and different thicknesses. I like to take those out before I use it just so that way they don't get dirty. I'm gonna place this in the sink. So I'm gonna put these in my bowl for the salad. And I'm gonna teach you this way, which is a raw recipe. Some people like to saute their noodles even when they put them in a salad, but in the salad, I personally like the crunch that comes from the zucchini. We're gonna need a little bit of onion. I like to use red onion for the color and the flavor, but use whatever onion you have on hand. Just a little bit of onion, about a quarter of this onion should do. I'm gonna finely chop it. You can slice it if you want. This is, a to this is totally a matter of preference. I'm gonna put the onions in the bowl with the noodles. I always have these baby bell peppers in my refrigerator. They're fresh, they're crisp, and they're super sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and slice these. If you don't have these, if they're not easy to find, you can go ahead and use a large bell pepper, any color you like. The peppers are gonna go in. And then I've just come back from Greece recently, and the one thing that is very hard for me to eat over here is tomatoes. So the only ones that are palatable right now to me, if they're not homegrown, are these cherry or grape tomatoes. They're super sweet and really fresh, so I like to use these in the salad. If they're very big, you can quarter them. Otherwise, go ahead and cut them in half. And then kalamata olives. I always buy them with the pits. I find that the pitted olives tend to taste a bit mushy, if that makes any sense. So I always stick to the ones with the pits. Takes a few seconds just to cut around it. Put the kalamata olives in. Now I always, if you've been following me for any amount of time, you'll know that I never, ever, 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 ever buy already crumbled feta. Always get the block. If you can find sheep's milk feta, that is the best. And then just crumble it yourself. And now for the dressing. I like to use lemon juice. If you want, you can use um, red wine vinegar. The juice of one lemon. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pick out these seeds. And I'm also gonna grate one garlic in here just for some more flavor. I generally do not put garlic in my Greek salad dressing, but 
it's gonna go well with the zucchini. Then some really good quality Greek olive oil, the best kind, some oregano, give it a mix, and then just pour everything on top. It's looking kind of hungry for more olive oil if you ask me. I'm also go gonna season with just a little bit of salt. The feta cheese is quite salty and so are the olives and then a little bit of black pepper and that's it. We're gonna mix this all up and the salad is ready to be served. One more tip, you can go in there with a pair of kitchen shears or scissors and cut them up a bit so that way it's easy for everyone to serve themselves because some of the zoodles are super duper long. I'm gonna go in and take a bite and try to get a little bit of feta, olive, just a little bit of everything in the bite. Mmm. <laughs> so good. So fresh. If you notice, I've left out the cucumber. I feel like the cucumber and the zucchini kind of compete against each other. The zucchini has all that crunch, all the freshness, and even a little bit more flavor than the cu cucumber would. So I'm definitely gonna go ahead and add the mint, a little bit of chopped fresh mint to the printed recipe. You are gonna see that, so don't wonder why, because I feel like it'll brighten up, brighten up the flavors even more. It goes really well with the zucchini and everything else. If you wanted to leave out the vinaigrette and make it more of a creamy salad, just swap the vinaigrette out for some tzatziki and you'll have a nice, creamy, refreshing salad. This goes well with grilled chicken, with shrimp, really anything. Really good to put in your lunchbox and take to work or to send it with the kids to school. Now we're gonna move on to making a sauteed version of zoodles. If you like them with a little bit more of like a noodle type consistency, I like to saute these on a cast iron skillet. It's smoking up over here because it's been warming. So have it over medium high heat. I have the zucchini that has already been spiralized. And the trick to this is to do it in batches because zucchini is full of liquid, of water, and it tends to release it the longer you cook it. And you don't want to have a mushy noodle on your hand. So I have a cast iron skillet over medium high heat. I'm gonna put just a little batch you don't want to overcrowd the pan, and I'm not going to cook them for longer than a minute. Just to get a little bit of softness to them, I'm going to season them also with a little bit of salt and a little bit of black pepper. And then I'm just going to transfer them to my bowl. And then I'm going to cook the rest. I'll do this in three batches just to make sure that they don't overcook. Again, you season each batch with a little bit of salt and some black pepper and saute for a minute. So everything is sauteed beautifully. I did not add any more oil to the pan, even while I sauteed the other two batches. And here I have some spinach pesto that I've shared the recipe with you on this channel. I'll link it in the card section above. You can use regular basil pesto too. I just always have spinach pesto in my fridge because I love it. And I'm just gonna warm everything through in the pan and just mix it. This whole thing did not even take 10 minutes, you guys. I would say five, six minutes and your meal is ready. That's it. I'm gonna take it off of the heat because I do not want this to cook anymore. And just take a look at how beautiful this is. You can definitely add some grated Parmesan cheese on top of that, maybe with a few crushed red pepper flakes. That would be very nice. I'm gonna go in and take a bite. Mmm. You will not miss the pasta. The zucchini is perfectly cooked, not watery at all. If you do take it further and you try to cook it for even three minutes longer, it's gonna release a lot of water, the zucchini is gonna become mushy, and it's just not gonna taste as good as it would if you cook it for just a minute like I taught you. The recipe, as always, is on the website, www.demetriusdishes.com. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Thumbs up if you want more low-carb recipes, and I will see you all next time. Yes, us.